Hello and welcome everyone. This is Dr. Hani Radim. The topic of this lecture is uh, the anatomy of the back and scapular region. Uh, in the back, uh, we will see uh, two superficial muscles and three deep muscles in the first two layers of the back, these five muscles. Uh, we will see two neurovascular bundles, each contains a nerve and uh, blood vessels and we will see two triangles. Uh, the two superficial layers of the back, to the left side is the first layer, to the right side is the second layer. In the first layer, we have two triang big triangular muscles. Uh, the first one is the trapezius in the upper half of the back, and the second one is the latissimus dorsi in the lower part of the back. Uh, to the right, we have the three uh, deep muscles. Uh, they extend from uh, the vertebral column to the medial border of uh, scapula. Uh, the first one is called levator scapulae. The second one is rhomboidus minor. And the, sec uh, the third is rhomboidus major. Uh, the first muscle on the back is the trapezius. It occupies the upper half of the uh, back. It is triangular in shape. Uh, together with the opposite side, it makes the shape of a trapeze. It extends all the way from the back of the head till the lower end of the thoracic spine, immediately where the origin is, and laterally where the insertion is, it is insinuated in the triangular gap between the spine of the scapula and the clavicle. Well, it takes origin uh, from the superior nuchal line, uh, external occipital protuberance on the back of the head, from the ligamentum nuchi on the back of the neck, and from the spine of C7 and all thoracic spines and supraspinous ligaments uh, on the back of the thorax. Its insertion is uh, in the lateral third of the back of clavicle, medial border of acromion, upper lip of crest of spine of scapula. Uh, its nerve supply is by a cranial nerve, the spinal accessory. It's not supplied by the brachial plexus. And uh, it receives proprioceptive fibers from the cervical plexus from C3 and 4. Uh, its actions are its upper fibers uh, elevate the scapula, its lower fibers depress the scapula, its middle fibers retract the scapula, acting together the upper and lower fibers together with the serratus anterior rotate the scapula when raising the arm uh, uh, above the head. The second muscle is also large. It is the latissimus dorsi. It covers the lower half of the uh, back. Uh, it arises from uh, the lower six thoracic spines uh, and supraspinous ligament from the lumbar fascia, which connect the muscle to the lumbar uh, vertebrae and the back of sacrum, uh, from the iliac crest, uh, from the lower four uh, uh, ribs, from the inferior angle of the scapula. Uh, the muscle from this wide origin collects into a narrow tendon that goes to the front of the humerus to be inserted in the floor of the bicipital groove of the humerus. Its nerve supply is through the thoracodorsal nerve or nerve to latissimus dorsi from the posterior cord of brachial plexus. Its actions are Extension of the shoulder as it pulls the humerus backwards. It causes abduction of the shoulder. It rotates the shoulder medially. And together with the trellis uh, measure, it helps in climbing. Uh, 
the third muscle, the first one in the deep group, is the elevator scapulae. Uh, it takes origin from the transverse processes of cervical vertebrae uh, from number one to number four. Uh, it is inserted to uh, the medial border of scapula from the superior angle till the spine. It is supplied by the dorsal scapular nerve from the roots of the brachial plexus and from C3 and 4 uh, from the cervical plexus. Its action is elevation of the scapula with the upper fibers of trapezius. Uh, the two rhomboids are rhomboidus minor, which is small, and rhomboidus major, which is large. The rhomboidus minor arises from the ligamentum myopi, spine of C7, spine of uh, T1, and uh, the rhomboidus major takes origin from the next thoracic spine, that is to say, uh, from 2 to 5 and the suprascapular layer. Uh, their insertion is into the medial border of scapula, the rhomboidus minor opposite the spine, rhomboidus major from the spine till the inferior angle. Uh, both are supplied by the dorsal scapular nerve and uh, their action is retraction and depression of the scapula. Uh, now we can categorize the muscles that connect the axial skeleton with the bones of the upper limb into three groups. First, muscles connecting the axial skeleton to the scapula, then muscles connecting the ribs to the scapula, and muscles connecting the axial skeleton to the humerus. Those which connect the axial skeleton to the scapula include the trapezius. Underneath the trapezius, there are levator scapulae, rhomboidus minor, and rhomboidus major. Uh, the muscles that connect the ribs to the scapulae are the pectoralis uh, minor and the serratus anterior. The muscles that connect the axial skeleton to the humerus are the pectoralis major and the latissimus dorsi. Well, uh, we can see two neurovascular bundles here in the back. If we uh, recap the trapezius, we will see bundle of nerve and artery between it and the rhomboids. Uh, this is the nerve that supplies it, the accessory nerve, together with the superficial branch of transverse cervical artery. The transverse cervical artery is a branch of subclavian. It gives uh, two branches, a superficial branch and a deep branch. The superficial runs superficial to the rhomboids, while the deep runs deep to uh, the rhomboids. Uh, in the uh, second plane, we have uh, deep to the rhomboids, the nerve that supplies them, which is the nerve to rhomboids or dorsal scapular nerve, together with the deep branch of transverse cervical artery. On the back, we see two triangles. This one here is called the triangle of auscultation, and this one below here is called lumbar triangle. Uh, the boundaries and content uh, and the floor and its importance. Uh, the uh, uh, triangle of auscultation is bound by the trapezius, the medial border of scapula, the upper border of latissimus dorsi, and in the floor we have the rhomboidus major. Uh, the importance of this triangle uh, is not really for auscultation of the uh, lung because you can auscultate. Uh, the lung anywhere medial to uh, the scapula. However, in this uh, triangle, it, it was used uh, to be uh, uh, before the uh, invention of X-ray. Uh, it was used for auscultation of a splashing sound uh, in case of uh, esophageal achalasia, when there is narrowing of the lower end of the esophagus. Uh, the esophagus above it is uh, hugely dilated, filled with fluid, and they used to uh, shake the patient uh, right and left and hear a splashing sound uh, when there is filling of the esophagus with this fluid. Of course, this is historic and uh, it's just to tell you uh, that there is no really 
clinical significance of this triangle of auscultation nowadays. Uh, the other triangle below here is the lumbar triangle. It's, it lies between the latissimus dorsi, the iliac crest, and the external oblique muscle of the abdomen. Its floor uh, is made by the internal oblique muscle of the uh, abdomen. Uh, this is considered as a weak uh, point in the abdominal wall, where uh, intestine and other contents may bulge through it, causing what we call lumbar hernia. Now it's time for a question. Uh, on climbing a tree, two muscles typically contract together. They are supplied by branches of which part or parts of the brachial plexus? Uh, please stop the video, try to answer yourself, and then come back to hear the answer. Okay, uh, what are the two muscles that typically contract uh, on climbing? Uh, these are the uh, pectoralis major and the latissimus dorsi. So, are they both supplied by the posterior cord? No, only the latissimus dorsi, by nerve to latissimus dorsi. The lateral cord? No, it just gives the lateral pectoral uh, to the pectoralis major. Lateral and medial cords? Well, they supply lateral and medial pectorals to the pectoralis major, but nothing to the latissimus dorsi. Medial and posterior cords? Mm, not enough. Lateral, medial, and posterior cords? Yes, this is the right answer. Because the lateral and medial cords give lateral and medial pectoral to pectoralis major, while the posterior cord gives nerve to latissimus dorsi or thoracodorsal nerve to latissimus dorsi. It's a bit tricky because you have to think twice. What are the two muscles that are involved in climbing? And what are the nerve supplies coming from? Well, the second part is uh, about the scapular region. Uh, we will be uh, covering six muscles here, um, supplied by three nerves, um, the axillary, the suprascapular, and the subscapulars. Uh, and uh, we have three intermuscular uh, species. Well, uh, the muscles are uh, the one uh, on the lateral aspect. Uh, extending anteriorly and posteriorly is the deltoid. Uh, anteriorly, we have this triangular muscle in front of the scapula, the subscapularis. And posteriorly, we have four muscles, two separated by the spine, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and two attached to the lateral border of scapula. Both are rounded. That's why they are called teres, teres minor and teres major. The deltoid is a large triangular muscle looking like a delta. It takes origin from the same uh, sites of insertion of the uh, trapezius. That is to say, from the lateral third of the clavicle, uh, from the outer border of acromion, lower lip of spine of scapula. Uh, and its insertion is in the deltoid tuberosity of the uh, humerus. Uh, its nerve supply is by the axillary nerve, and its action is abduction of the shoulder by the middle fibers, flexion by the anterior fibers, together with medial rotation. extension by its posterior fibers together with lateral rotation. In fact, the anterior and posterior fibers are helped by many muscles, like for example, the anterior fibers are helped by pectoralis major, posterior fibers are helped by latissimus dorsi, which are strong muscles, However, the middle fibers which abduct the arm, uh, typically from uh, 18 degrees, sometimes it's said 15 degrees till 90 degrees, uh, they uh, act against gravity and have to be very strong. Uh, they are multi-pinnate. 
That is to say, there are so many uh, intermuscular tendons uh, that uh, receive uh, the fibers from both sides. The deltoid muscle covers so many structures. If you remember the bony structures, you remember the other structures attached to them. So the first thing covered is the coracoid. The coracoid has three muscles attached to it and three ligaments attached to it. The three muscles are uh, the pectoralis minor, the uh, coracobrachialis and short head of biceps. The three ligaments are the two parts of coracoclavicular ligament, conoid and trapezoid, together with the coracoacromial uh, ligament. So it has three muscles and three ligaments attached to it. In addition, uh, we have the glenoid uh, fossa and the capsule of the shoulder joint together with supraglenoid and infraglenoid tubercles. Uh, from here, the long head of biceps takes origin and from here, the long head of triceps takes origin. It also covers the lesser tuberosity where the subscapularis is attached covers the uh, greater tuberosity, where three muscles are inserted. Uh, remember the word sit, S-I-T, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor to the three impressions of the greater tuberosity. It also covers the surgical neck, where the axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humor uh, are rewind, uh, making anastomosis with the anterior circumflex humor forming an arterial circle around the surgical neck of humerus. Uh, it also covers the bicipital uh, groove. Uh, here uh, we have uh, the tendon of long head of biceps with its synovial uh, sheath uh, and three muscles inserted uh, from lateral to medial, pectoralis major, latissimus dorsi, teres major, and finally it covers uh, to bursi. Uh, a bursa uh, above the supraspinatus between it and the coracoacromial ligament. Uh, this is a, a subacromial uh, bursa. Uh, and another bursa here is the deltoid bursa. Uh, what is the clinical importance of knowing all these uh, structures covered by uh, deltoid? Uh, is to know where to give an intramuscular injection in this muscle. Uh, if you give the injection high up here, there is a great risk that you may injure uh, the axillary nerve, causing paralysis to deltoid. Uh, however, injecting in the lower part here is safer. Uh, the next muscle is supraspinatus. It takes origin from the supraspinous fossa. Uh, and it passes under the coracoacromial arch, separated from the coracoacromial ligament by subacromial bursa, and then gets inserted into the upper impression of the greater tuberosity of humerus. Uh, its nerve supply is by suprascapular nerve, and when uh, it pulls uh, on the humerus, it initiates abduction uh, of the shoulder. Also, it's one of the uh, uh, rotator uh, cuff that stabilizes the head of the uh, humerus into the glenoid cavity. Spinatus. We have infraspinatus, takes origin from the infraspinous fossa and is inserted in the middle impression of the greater tuberosity. Its nerve supply is by suprascapular nerve uh, and its uh, action uh, is to abduct the uh, shoulder the humerus, uh, laterally rotated, and it helps in stabilization of the uh, shoulder joint. Uh, as a matter of fact, there are four muscles that help the stabilization of shoulder joint. Uh, these include the two spinatus, the supra and the infra, uh, one of the teres, the teres minor, and from the front, the subscapularis. Uh, these four muscles are called the rotator cuff, and we'll talk about their details in a minute. Uh, the two teres muscles, the teres minor, arises uh, from the lateral border of scapula, from the upper two thirds of this lateral border, inserted in the lower impression of greater tuberosity, uh, is supplied by the axillary nerve, 
together with the uh, deltoid, its actions are the same as the uh, infraspinatus. Uh, abduction, lateral rotation, and stabilization of the shoulder. Uh, now, the teres major muscle lies below the teres uh, minor. It arises from the lower third of the lateral border of uh, scapula from an oval area here. It goes till the front of the uh, humerus, where it inserts in the medial lip of the bicipital groove. Uh, its uh, nerve supply is different from the teres uh, major. Uh, it is supplied by the lower subscapular nerve, uh, similar to subscapularis. Its action is also different. Uh, it adducts the shoulder, extends it, and because it is inserted in the front of the humerus, it rotates the humerus medially and not laterally. Well, um, the subscapularis muscle arises uh, from the subscapular fossa of the humerus. Uh, it goes to be inserted in the uh, lesser uh, tuberosity of humerus. Uh, it passes in front of the shoulder uh, joint, uh, where it has a bursa here called subscapular bursa that typically communicates with the uh, shoulder joint. It is supplied by both upper and lower subscapular nerves from the posterior cord of brachial plexus. Uh, its actions are Adduction together with the anterior fibers of uh, deltoid, medial rotation, and stabilization of the shoulder. Uh, there are three intermuscular spaces in the shoulder uh, uh, between the two teres muscles, uh, the humerus and the long head of triceps. Uh, you can uh, re re remember them by putting your fingers like this. This represents the humerus. This is the long head of triceps, teres minor above, teres major below. We have a quadrangular space and the two triangular space, the upper one and the lower one. Uh, the quadrangular space is bound between the teres major, uh, teres minor, teres major, uh, humeral neck and long head of triceps, okay? Uh, it gives a passage to a nerve and an artery. The nerve is the axillary nerve uh, reaching from the axilla uh, to uh, the back of the surgical neck of humerus. It is accompanied by a branch of the axillary artery, which is the posterior circumflex humeral artery, which winds around the surgical neck to anastomose with the anterior circumflex humeral to make uh, circular anastomosis around the surgical neck. Uh, the uh, upper uh, triangle uh, is between the two teres and the long head of uh, triceps here. Uh, it gives passage to a, a branch of the uh, subscapular artery, a branch, which is a branch of the axillary, of course. It's called circumflex scapular artery, okay, which passes to the uh, infraspinous fossa to share in the anastomosis around the scapula. The lower triangular area is between the humerus, the long head of triceps, and the teres major, uh, and it gives passage to a nerve and an artery. Uh, the nerve is the uh, radial nerve going to the spiral groove behind the humerus, and the artery is the profunda brachii artery branch of the brachial artery. Uh, now we will uh, discuss the details of the abduction of the arm. Uh, the old uh, uh, saying was that uh, initiation of abduction from 0 to 30, to 0 to 18, from 0 to 15, varies uh, between books. And they say that supraspinatus is responsible for such uh, movement, uh, for initiation. And from such degree till 90 degree, it is by deltoid. And when raising the arm above the head, rotation of the scapula occurs uh, by the action of two muscles. Uh, trapezius, both upper and lower fibers together, uh, with the lower five digitations of serratus and tear. And nowadays, this, uh, uh, this saying is not uh, quite acceptable clinically. 
uh, they say that uh, the, all the muscles are involved throughout the abduction from the beginning till the end. And uh, that for each uh, three degrees of abduction, uh, one occurs by deltoid and uh, two thirds by the other muscles. Well, uh, now we will come to uh, the rotator cuff of the uh, shoulder. Uh, it is made of four tendons of intimate muscles that have their tendons attached to the capsule of the shoulder joint. These are uh, the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. Uh, notice that teres major is far away from the capsule. That's why it's not attached to it, and it does not share in the uh, rotator cuff. Uh, thus, this cuff is strong above, behind, and in front but is deficient uh, below. These uh, muscles pull the head of humerus in the glenoid cavity because uh, if you uh, examine uh, the humerus and the glenoid, you'll find that the head is much larger than the, the glenoid cavity. Uh, there is nothing that holds it except uh, these uh, strong muscles. The ligaments are not that strong. Uh, the bones do not help in the stabilization of this joint. Uh, this joint is uh, meant to be uh, uh, flexibly uh, moving, uh, giving a wide range of uh, mobility, uh, but this uh, 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 is accompanied by uh, poor stability. Well, now uh, let's answer a question. Uh, let's cross match uh, as you're used uh, to stop the video, answer, and then come back. Well, uh, now we will uh, answer together. Uh, here, uh, there are some nerves. Here, there are uh, muscles or spaces. Uh, well, uh, the radial nerve, the radial nerve, teres minor, infantoid, triangular space. Yes, the radial nerve passes through the lower triangular space. Uh, axillary nerve, quadrangular space, no, not here. You know, teres minor, yes, it supplies the teres minor together with the deltoid. Lower subscapular nerve, it gives subscapularis and uh, teres major. So the answer is teres major. Uh, sub suprascapular nerve, suprascapular nerve uh, gives infraspinatus. Well, um, we will notice that teres minor and deltoid both are supplied by axillary nerve. So uh, one uh, statement on the left uh, matches two statements on the uh, right. Well, now we will study the uh, nerves that supply the three nerves that supply the uh, shoulder region. Uh, the first one is the axillary nerve, C5 and 6. It arises from the posterior cord of brachial uh, plexus. It's one of the two terminal branches of the posterior cord. It passes behind the third part of axillary artery, uh, running through the quadrangular space with the posterior circumflex humeral artery, uh, coming uh, on the medial side of the surgical neck, where it divides into anterior and posterior uh, branches. Uh, the anterior branch supplies the deltoid. The posterior branch supplies the deltoid, the teres uh, minor, and it gives the uh, upper lateral cutaneous nerve of the arc which supplies the skin on the lower half of deltoid. Uh, injury of the uh, axillary nerve usually occurs uh, due to surgical neck fracture of the humerus, uh, and uh, uh, it causes uh, motor and sensory effects. Uh, the motor effect is loss of arm abduction uh, and a deformity uh, due to uh, atrophy of the deltoid called flat shoulder, and the anesthesia or loss of sensation is from the lower half of deltoid. So if you see a flat shoulder with anesthesia in this part and difficulty in abduction uh, after a surgical neck of humerus injury or wrong intramuscular injection, uh, this is uh, due to injury of the axillary nerve. Uh, the suprascapular nerve is a branch of the upper trunk of brachial plexus C5 and 6. It passes to uh, the suprascapular foramen below the suprascapular uh, ligament, running in the suprascapular 
the notch to reach the supraspinous fossa, then through the spinoglinoid notch to reach the infraspinous fossa. So you can say that it passes through two notches and the two fossae. It is distributed to the uh, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and to the shoulder uh, joint. If there is injury of the suprascapular nerve, the supraspinatus is affected, so initiation of abduction uh, is uh, difficult. Uh, finally, the subscapular nerves, these are uh, upper subscapular and lower subscapular. Uh, they arise from the posterior cord of brachial plexus uh, behind the second part of axillary artery uh, with the thoracodorsal nerve or nerve to latissimus dorsi. Uh, in between, uh, the upper subscapular supplies the uh, subscapularis alone, uh, while the lower subscapular supplies the subscapularis anterior uh, major. Now, uh, let's answer this question. A biker fell on his uh, right shoulder. X-ray showed a uh, fractured surgical neck of humerus. What's the deformity likely to develop? Uh, of course, I have just mentioned that winging of scapula no, This is due to the uh, injury of nerve to serratus anterior. Flat shoulder is the uh, answer. Uh, okay, uh, claw hand no. This is due to injury of the ulnar nerve or uh, the uh, lower trunk of brachial plexus, ape hand due to median nerve, wrist drop due to radial nerve. Uh, second question is, a stab wound to the shoulder tearing the suprascapular ligament would likely damage a nerve crossing just inferior to it. Of course, this is the suprascapular nerve. The integrity of this nerve could be assessed by asking the patient to do which movement at the shoulder uh, joint. Uh, well, as you know, uh, uh, suprascapular gives supraspinatus, infraspinatus. Infraspinatus its actions are done by many muscles. So supraspinatus is the key. It initiates abduction. So the answer is abduction. Uh, so in summary, we can say uh, that regarding origin and insertion of the muscles uh, from the vertebral uh, column, uh, we have four muscles going to the scapula. Uh, the trapezius, large one, and uh, the levator scapulae, rhomboidus minor, rhomboidus major. And uh, from the scapula, six muscles go to the humerus, supraspinatus, upper uh, uh, impression, infraspinatus, uh, middle impression, teres minor, lower impression of uh, greater tuberosity, teres major to the uh, bicipital uh, groove, uh, subscapularis uh, to the lesser uh, tuberosity. Okay, and uh, we can say that latissimus dorsi from the inferior angle also to the bicipital uh, groove. Uh, from the vertebral column to the humerus, there is one muscle which is latissimus dorsi. Uh, the origins of the back muscles are uh, the, the first two in the first layer are from five. Each of them is, has five origins. Trapezius has five origins. Uh, external uh, superior nuchal line, external occipital protuberance, ligamental nuchal spine of C7, thoracic spines. These are five. Um, latissimus dorsi from lower thoracic spines, uh, lumbar fascia, iliac crest, lower four ribs, uh, inferior angle of scapula. These are five. Uh, these small muscles are 4-2-4, four, four, uh, like football uh, strategy in football teams. Uh, four are the transverse processes of uh, four cervical vertebrae for levator scapulae. Two are uh, C7 and T1 for uh, rhomboidus minor. And the next four are for rhomboidus uh, major. Uh, notice that the insertion of deltoid clavicle acromion uh, spine are the same uh, as the origin of, uh, uh, this is the insertion of trapezius, it's the same as origin of uh, deltoid. Regarding their action, uh, they are mostly responsible for uh, scapular movements. These are the back muscles, uh, elevation, uh, retraction, uh, depression, uh, rotation, okay. 
in addition, uh, adduction of the arm by all muscles that run uh, to the uh, from medial aspect to the arm, uh, and the, the action of rotator cuff, the four muscles, is stabilization. The nerve supply. Uh, the only muscle which is not supplied by the brachial plexus is the uh, trapezius. Uh, the others, uh, the rhomboids and the vitro scapulae by the nerve to rhomboids, latissimus dorsi by nerve to latissimus dorsi. Uh, in the uh, shoulder, uh, we have three nerves that supply six muscles. That is to say, uh, a nerve for two muscles, suprascapular for supras uh, supraspinatus infraspinatus, uh, axillary for deltoid and the teres uh, minor, uh, upper and lower uh, subscapular, upper for subscapularis, lower for subscapularis and teres uh, major. And uh, uh, just to remember the uh, four, uh, the three uh, intermuscular spaces, uh, humerus, long hip of triceps and the two teres, minor above and major below. Now we reach the end of this lecture. Thank you for listening. Uh, if you like uh, these lectures, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and uh, hit like. Thanks again.